In other news, it's an update that we are very happy to share with you on a story that got a lot of attention. So you may remember Eric Weber, especially when we tell you more about his story. Um, we were at his law school graduation when he became the first student with autism to graduate from Cal Western Law. Well, now he's passed the bar exam. NBC7's Megan Tavrizian is here with this uh, update that's making us all smile today, Megan. Yeah, it's a really great story today. Um, not only, Catherine, did he pass the bar, he did it on his first try. And I got to know Eric and his mom, Sandy, while volunteering at Special Olympics, and these two continue to impress and inspire. That was one of my uh, favorite areas to take classes, too. Eric Weber gives us a tour of the place he spent a good part of his last three years. Eric, Nikki. <laughs> Eric graduated Cal Western Law School last December. And this week, he did something every law student has trouble with. He passed the bar exam. When I first opened it up at 6 p.m. on May 15th, I closed it down and checked it again to make sure I wasn't hallucinating. It's the first time anybody that I know of with autism has accomplished this. Of course, I see the pictures in my head of the boy that he was. Sandy remembers the early years of meltdowns and temper tantrums. When Eric was three, he was diagnosed with autism. Doctors told his parents he'd have to be institutionalized the rest of his life. Sandy refused. Well, I was supposed to be an art teacher. But after Eric's diagnosis, Sandy became a full-time caregiver, motivator, and trailblazer. There wasn't a lot of information back then about autism, so she improvised. When she found out Eric learned visually, she'd videotape him as a teaching tool. Since he had trouble understanding behaviors, she took him to the zoo to watch animals interact. And because he had a hard time verbally, she'd coordinate with his teachers and use the same phrases as they did at home. How much do you attribute your success to your mom? A lot of it, for sure. <laughs> Sandy says the thing she appreciates most about her son is his perseverance. But it's also very rewarding for me to stand back and look at the art project that I created. So Eric is now practicing special needs law. He's already fighting to get more oversight and better standards for group homes. And because of both Eric and his mother's perseverance, there's a new scholarship for special needs students at Cal Western Law School every year.